You know, one question that's been racing in my head is what's going to happen to vintage card prices, vintage stock, when those booster packs and those booster boxes begin to become more and more scarce? Welcome to the latest YouTube video here on my channel, and we ask an important question. What's going to happen? We have big guys like Lionheart, we have Poker Rev, and so many others that open tons and tons of product every day and they used to open vintage product a lot more often and you start to notice now that it is getting a little bit more and more scarce. Poker Rev used to do much more like his content was crazy back then where he would be opening some of the craziest packs. Now every two weeks he has one live stream where he'll open some vintage booster box that he sells to other people that have purchased packs. But eventually that stock has to go like away. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. And uh, we've kind of compiled some data as the prices are going to eventually start increasing again. How much is somebody going to want to be purchasing product for that price in comparison to how much it's actually worth? And what's going to happen? Like, what's the next venture for these uh, Poketubers that are out selling vintage product and opening vintage product for views on their YouTube channels? It's interesting, and I, I, I put together some statistics and information, and I think this is uh, kind, of, kind of interesting. I think a lot of these people, Poker Rev, Lionheart, a lot of them came back around the same time I started coming back into collecting Pokemon cards. And that was in the X and Y era when Generations came out. And that was the first set that I came back to, or at least introduced to again. And I brought some break cards and things like that when I was kind of coming back into the Pokemon game in general. And around that time period, we have gone ahead and kind of calculated how much booster boxes were. We went and scoured the internet to try to find these prices. And then on the other side, we have our 2023 date, which it's today, like this is like the, like this is the price on the internet on how much some of this stuff is worth. And you can see, in 2017, a base set first edition booster box was worth 12000 Right now, somebody made a lot of money. And you just continue to notice that some of these sets, uh, it, it's a ridiculous amount. Base set, uh, 1350 back in 2017. Now it's $13,000. Jungle, $1,000. And a lot of these people that are reselling this product bought these booster boxes in this time period. And now... They're starting to run out of inventory because it's not going to last forever. I mean, in 2000, I believe 2017, Pokemon announced that they had sold officially 22 mi a billion cards. If you divide that, eventually divide it into what a booster box is, which is 36 packs, you're looking at about 50,000 booster boxes sold. Now... If you, I would say that at least the Wizards of the Coast era probably owns about 30,000 or, or, or 25,000, at least half of that. And then there's everything else. So I believe that eventually the stock is just going to become dry. And I don't know what people are going to, I feel like what's going to happen next is people are going to start opening the undesirable. So Jungle and Fossil and Base Set 2, even though those are even already pretty kind of pricey. I mean, a booster box of Jungle is $6,600. That's nothing to scoff at. That's still pretty high up. And honestly, I don't know how many people are going to be wanting to open that product. I mean, let's, let's face it. Jungle ain't that like fun to you know it, it's oh it's cool like you know it has the evolutions and Snorlax is definitely if you could find it in a PSA ten which it's not gonna happen because of the material that they use for some reason it it gets there's always a print line on that 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 specific card but that it's interesting data to look at because we're continuing to go through this phase of you know. It's we're running out of Sword of Shield content. Uh, I saw a couple of Poketubers this week 
they were doing videos on other videos that like they're not even opening cards they're just doing videos on other stuff uh and, and i don't know what's gonna happen and they're the only thing that you can find right now uh, under retail is Fusion Strike. I mean, if you go to Pokemon Center, you can find Chilling Rain Booster Box, but you're gonna pay over. You're gonna pay at retail, which I mean, nobody really wants to do that. Uh, and there's no like you know, Zulus and all these other amazing stores out there don't have any booster boxes to really sell right now because there there isn't. Any, and I feel like this is what's gonna happen with base set one and jungle and fossil and eventually team rocket and the gym challenge and gym heroes are already kind of high up there in price for you know what they actually offer which you know it's not a lot of cards in those sets that are really big hitters so it is interesting to me uh and i will you know i i don't know i i personally don't know what's going to happen with with all of these streamers and, and what's going to be the next level like what's what's the next big thing that's gonna happen i don't know i feel like people are hoarding sword and shield for sure i think that uh there are sword and shield boxes out there some are at a base at one where somebody's just sitting on some of these cards and you know they're eventually just waiting for that day for these cards to be worth some money and they're just not uh you know they're not opening them up uh, and they're hoping that, you know, their return on investment can be something crazy like what has happened over the last few years with everything else. It's it's nuts. I think that's what's going on uh, in our environment right now. Our Pokemon card environment is that people are hoarding boxes of Sword and Shield. I think um, eventually what will happen is other people will start opening some of the newer generation. I'm pretty sure there's tons and tons of evolution out there that uh, nobody wanted to open up. We'll start seeing, you know, some of the Sun and Moon and X and Y era booster boxes that probably have been sitting around just chilling and coasting that get opened up as well. I, I think that this is uh, going to be fun to watch. I personally enjoy watching... Ooh, that's a nice card, by the way, for competitive. I do personally enjoy watching some vintage openings, but sometimes I don't enjoy watching them all. Um, I know a lot of people are kind of, you know, indifferent on it, or, you know, some people have a negative opinion about vintage. I like vintage. I don't like it all the time. I kind of like... Every once in a while, we'll watch somebody. I know po Poker have had uh, Jungle this past week. That's why I was talking about it. And I had fun watching it for like the first hour. And then I kind of got tired of it because it's like, it's the same cards over and over again. Jungle is only a, like, you know, a 70 card set or whatever it was. That eventually you get a little bit fatigue of watching the same content over and over again. So it was a fun watch. And I did end up watching the whole video just because I was curious on, you know, what the pulls were. And there was some pretty cool pulls in there, honestly. Uh, there was some interesting cards in there. I think he had an interesting first half of the box for sure. Uh, definitely watched that video. But I, I've been wondering, like, what's going to happen with this stuff? Like, what, what are they going to do next? Like, what is next? And, uh, you know, one side of me thinks Sun and Moon and X and Y will probably get, you know, starting eaten up a little bit. Another part of me also thinks that maybe some of the Japanese cards, Japanese base set, there's tons and tons of that out there right now. It's not very expensive. Uh, you know, Japanese, uh, Alcopolis, all the E-series sets, there are still tons and tons of those out there. I think that might be something that you might see happen. Um, because I, I just don't know anything, like, what else are they going to do? Like, what, what is going to happen uh, if you don't have any of those sets to open up anymore? It, it's, uh, I don't know. Interesting to me. I don't know what you guys think or what your thoughts are on on this, like, opinion that I have here. I don't know what, uh, you know, what we'll see here in the future with all of these sets um, going away. Because they ain't going to last forever. That's 100% positive. And eventually... Even the people that are hoarding them are, are probably going to either sell them to the highest bidder and then, you know, those Poketubers are going to open them as well. And then what's going to happen? Eventually, there aren't going to be any more booster boxes or they're going to just be worth so much more money that it's going to be ridiculous. Now, I do know that some of the booster boxes have gone down in price. So base set, I believe, first edition was going for like 500k uh, back in 2020 during the, you know, the... Increase of prices because a couple of Poketubers came up 
Logan Paul did his thing. But I think uh, one thing that should be of note is $350,000 is still a lot of money for something that somebody, you know, not even less than 10 years ago paid $12,000, $13,000 for. So I, it's going to be interesting. I think that three fifty. If you're sitting at three fifty, I wouldn't even sell it because, to be honest with you, with all the people opening product, that price will eventually start increasing, and I think some of the cards will start increasing in value as well. Uh, I think uh, there will always be nostalgia with Pokemon. Uh, as as we grow older, I think that it will still be something that you know we enjoy. Because it came from our childhood. But anyways, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen. Like, what are they going to open next? Is it going to be Japanese sets from, you know, the vintage sets? Uh, because those still are, you know, relatively good in price. Uh, I know those cards aren't worth a ton of money. But at least they're, you know, at least you can get them for like $200 a pack. Or do you think uh, we'll start seeing people hit the Sun and Moon era and the X and Y era. And all the evolutions boxes and boxes that people have hidden probably even some of the hidden fate stuff honestly uh will start getting opened up you let me know in the comments uh, and if you could do me a favor like this video uh and if you if you enjoy the content please subscribe to the channel i mean we do these videos twice a week at least on tuesdays and thursdays but sometimes there are bonus days where we'll throw something on wednesday or we'll throw something on friday if there's breaking news we'll do our best to try to inform the masses. Uh, and if you could also do me the biggest favor in the world, please tell somebody something nice. It could be the only nice thing that they hear all day, all month, all week. Mental health awareness is important and being kind to somebody doesn't cost anything. And if you could click on one of these two videos, you might see something you like. Until the next time, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day.